mean, we're here for an annual ride to, to honor Sylvia Bingham, who was um, tragically killed while riding her bike uh, to work in 2009. So this is just, a, just a, a time to kind of reflect and think about where we've come as a city, think about where we could be going with all, with changes to our roadways, and a time just to think about her and her family and, and, and those, the families of others who have lost uh, significant others and loved ones. We are riding for Sylvia. Um, we are remembering those who have unfortunately lost their lives, you know, through, through traffic, encounters, which is unfortunate. As a woman riding her bike to get to her training classes, you know, being in a non-traditional role as women, I just have a, she has a special place in my heart. So I like to always come here and to ride in her memory and to help to talk to other people uh, why we do this, why we are doing the work that we do, to get that awareness out there, let people know that we're not just riding bikes just because it's for fun. We're riding bikes to get from point A to point B. We're here today to honor Sylvia Bingham, who tragically lost her life to an underride uh, crash that was clearly preventable had that truck had side guards. So we're here not only to honor her, but to hope that in the future uh, modifications are made to vehicles so that the amount of serious injuries and deaths on our road are zero, which is ties into Vision Zero. I mean, you know, how many deaths are, are allowed or appropriate? It's zero. I mean, that's somebody, that's your mother, that's your father, that's your son, that's your daughter. We don't want that happening. So uh, there's no acceptable amounts of uh, people dying when almost all crashes are preventable in one way or the other. Thanks for coming out today uh, for the Ride for Sylvia. We start here because in um, September 15th of 2009, Sylvia lived in this house right here. Um, and just like a lot of us do uh, during the weekdays or maybe sometimes on the weekend, um, headed out on her commute to go to work. Um, and on that day at 21st and Prospect, she was right hooked by a left electric uh, box truck. Every year we like to do a ride around this time uh, to remember Sylvia, to support her family and friends, but not just Sylvia, but other, other individuals in our community who have been impacted by roadway violence. If you didn't know Sylvia, she was a very energetic, very lively person. Cycling was a big part of that. She was new to Cleveland, but was using her bike as her sole form of transportation. She did it for probably a lot of the same reasons that we all do, getting to work and getting around the city. All right, everybody, so every year we come and visit Sylvia's ghost bike. Um, we like to place some flowers on it. Um, so we'll have folks, you can place your flowers and then uh, we'll have a few people speak briefly and then we'll, um, we'll ride back. Sylvia Bingham and behind us we have a side guard on a dump truck 
that side guard on a dump truck, if it had been on the left electric truck that was involved in the crash with Sylvia, it probably would have saved her life. These lateral protection devices or side guards have been on trucks in Europe and in England since 1986. They have done studies that show a 61% decrease in bicycle fatalities as a result of these side guards. There's a new website that launched yet on Thursday, and the website's actually on the side guard, and it's uh, vision0cle.org. So if you guys could go to that site, you'll see some awesome statistics and things that will bring awareness. Share that site, share it with others, so that we can hopefully end traffic violence once and for all and truly bring the number of fatalities down to zero. Thank you. So as Andy mentioned, um, the city of Cleveland's kicking off its Vision Zero action planning process. And what that is, it's a, it's a plan to identify strategies to get to zero traffic fatalities and serious injuries in the city of Cleveland. And um, so we can continue to see more things like this, concrete actions that can be taken, like side guards for Sylvia on the side of city trucks, um, things like adding more protected bike lanes and trails to create safe places for people to bike. Um, things like education programs that educate motorists that cyclists have a right to the roadway. You know, these are all things that should be pushed not just by Bike Cleveland, uh, but by the city of Cleveland to make our city more multimodal, more safe for all road users. So I encourage you guys to get plugged into Vision Zero Cleveland and, um, and be an advocate out there for everybody out biking and walking. Hi, folks in Cleveland. Once again, we're not able to be with you. Uh, this is Stephen Francois, parents of Sylvia. We're just so pleased that year after year you've done a ride to remember her and uh, use the ride to tell the people of Cleveland how dangerous the streets are and how important it is to be safe out there. <clears throat> Why Cleveland has done incredible work this year and one of the things we're so pleased with is that there are now 10 garbage trucks with side barriers which would have saved Sylvia's life. We definitely hope to be with you in Cleveland next year. Lots of love for both, from both of us. Bye. Lost in the flood.